Segregate our garbage. Oh, yeah. I know you. My friend from the ocean told me that some people on the surface are trying to solve this crazy garbage problem. And you are those people. Maybe here I can find my family too. And I want to help. By the way, I'm Plasto. Great Plasto. Raj, we have a volunteer now. Pick up two bags and start collecting and segregating the garbage. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. What is segregation? Waste segregation is about separating different types of garbage into different bins. Do you know? Right now, we have a big garbage problem. Ah, kind of. I ended up in a bin that was emptied into the gutter. And I landed up in the sea, which was full of garbage. It was so terrible. That's how I landed here. Oh, that sounds terrible. It's definitely one way. But usually, garbage also goes into a big community bin. And sometimes, it makes its way into a dumping ground and stays there for ages. But other times, with the wind, sun and all the weather changes, the garbage gets blown around and ends up in the ocean or deep in the soil. It stinks there a lot. Not just that, it can be really harmful to us and even to the environment. Oh, yes, but when we segregate our waste, we are putting it into the proper bin and that can help a lot. When we segregate, garbage either goes into the wet bin or the dry bin. And if it goes into the dry bin, the garbage trucks take it away to the recycling factory where it can be turned into something new. But how do you know what goes into which bin? You see, this is a wet bin. It's all green in colour. Here, we throw all natural things, things that come from nature. A good way to remember it is if it's anything that can be eaten by earthworms, like leaves, leftover food, fruit peels and hair. And this is a dry bin. It is always blue in colour. Here we throw all things made by humans. Things that cannot be eaten by earthworms. Like plastic, metal, glass, wooden furniture and even paper. Oh, ok. 
Okay. Um, so what happens in recycling? Is it important? Yes, it is. Very useful, in fact. It is like taking something old and then turning it into something new. Just like how we make butter from bread. Similarly, a plastic bottle can be recycled into a bag or a light or anything new. <gasps> like a rebirth. Yes, sure. But it's not so simple. You need a lot of machines for recycling. But right now, we must meet someone important. I'll explain recycling to you later. Oh, yeah. We have to meet Millie. Uh, who's Millie? Is she a recycling expert? She is an animal doctor. We need to get to the dumping yard on time. If we want to catch Millie. Yay! Let's go. I wanted to find my family, but it seems I'm going to make many friends on this journey and I definitely wouldn't want to let go of this chance. Hmm, okay, I'm in. Awesome! awesome. <gasps> this is so cool! Isn't it? Headquarters sent us our ride. Get in and let's go! Hi friends! Today we learned about different types of waste, dry and wet. Remember, all things that are natural can go in the wet bin. And all other things that are man-made go into the dry bin. Right now, we have a few leftover items that need to go into the right bins. Can you help us segregate them? When an item comes up on screen, you have to say whether it goes in the dry or the wet bin and see if it is correct. Ready? Let's try one. A plastic bottle. Does this go into the dry or wet bin? What do you say, explorers? Plastic bottle goes into the dry bin. Remember, it is plastic. Humans have made it. So, it goes into the dry bin. Now, let's try a second item. A packet of chips. Does this go into the dry or wet bin? What do you say, explorers? Chips go into the wet bin. Chips come from potatoes and is natural. So, it can go into the wet bin. What about the packet? Where do you think this goes? The wet or dry bin? Think carefully. What are chips packets made of? Chips packets are made of plastic, so they go into the dry bin. Remember, the chips will go into the wet bin, the packet will go into the dry bin. Other packets will also go into the dry bin. Things like plastic wrappers, toffee packets, juice packets, shampoo sachet all go into the dry bin. What about something like a leaf or a twig or branch? Where do these things go? Remember, leaves, twigs and branches all come from nature. Which bin do all natural things go into? That's right! They go into the wet bin. Remember, Earthworms can eat leaves and branches and twigs. So they will all go into the wet bin. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Shall we do a few more? What about something like paper? Where does this go? Paper is a confusing one. 
Did some of you say wet and some say dry? Well, paper is made by man, but it is also natural. It comes from trees. But paper can be recycled to make other products. So, we put it in the dry bin. Everyone is doing so well. I think you are all becoming expert explorers. Last few ones before we get ready for our next adventure. Old food that has gone bad. Where does it go? Remember, is it natural? Can worms eat it? Wet bin! Old and spoiled food such as dal, eggshells, vegetable peels can all be thrown into your wet bin. Okay, and last one now. What about old clothes? This is a tricky one now. Old clothes go into the dry bin. Although it is better to try to reuse them. We can always cut up old clothes to make rags and even new clothes. But in case you need to throw away any old fabric, then the dry bin is the way to go. Thank you for all your help, explorers. It's been great working with you guys. And we'll be sure to meet again soon for our next adventure. In the meantime, we are going to show you this segregation chart one more time. If you have time, make your own segregation chart. Draw two bins on a piece of paper, one for dry and one for wet. Copy the correct items into each bin. Remember, if an earthworm can eat it, it goes into the wet bin. Everything else goes into the dry bin. Good luck on your mission. Until then, remember, segregate karo. Incoming message from the Waste No More camp. It's time for the Explorer Diary. Students, did you go home and look into your dustbin? What are the things you found in there? Now that you all are waste segregation experts, will you join Plasto, Rani and Raj and be a Waste No More Explorer? To be a Waste No More Explorer, we must do three very simple things. Make sure you pay attention to all Waste No More videos. Complete all the Waste No More activities and also tell your family and friends about them. Segregate your waste into dry and wet waste at home. Simple, na? If you agree, put your thumbs up.